Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Hannah with this week's Bible Time. Let's go ahead and start with our I'm Special song. I am special, I am special. Look and see, look and see. I am very special, I am very special. God loves me, God loves me. All right, boys and girls, this week we are talking about a man named Daniel. God had taken the Israelites from a place in Jerusalem to a place in Babylon. He had taken them captive by the um, by King Nebuchadnezzar's army. Now, this is King Nebuchadnezzar, and he had a dream. And there was a statue in this dream. And he asked all of the wisest people in his kingdom if they could help him figure out what his dreams meant. He asked magicians, sometimes even um, wise mathematicians, all of these people, and no one could figure it out. So the king got very mad. And he told the soldiers to take these people away. But Daniel heard about this and he wanted to help these people. He was an important official to the king. And so he went to the king and he said, please let me figure out what your dream means. So he went home and he talked to God. He said, God, Please allow me to be able to tell the king what his dream means to save those people. And God told him. So Daniel went the next day to the king and said, King, I was not able to know what your dream meant on my own, but God has allowed me to understand what it means. And I am going to tell you. You had a dream about this statue, and this statue will eventually, a great big rock will make it fall down, and then it will grow up to be a great mountain. He was saying that these different pieces of the statue that are all different colors and different parts all represent all of the different kingdoms that will rise and fall after Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom. But God's kingdom will be there forever and he will establish a kingdom that will never end. Now the king heard these words and he was so pleased that Daniel was able to tell him what it meant and he even praised God. And he made Daniel a ruler over a good part of the country. So we see that God used Daniel to be able to tell Nebuchadnezzar what his dream meant. Our memory treasure for today, friends, is from the Lord's Prayer. Our memory treasure goes like this. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. So we've learned many different parts of the Lord's Prayer in the last couple of weeks. We learned our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. So we've learned up to that point so far. Now, friends, we're going to go ahead and sing a song. It goes like this. Help my faith grow. Help my faith grow as I hear, as I hear your word, the Bible, your word, the Bible, Savior, dear, Savior, dear. Help my faith grow, help my faith grow as I hear, as I hear your word, the Bible, your word, the Bible. Savior, dear, Savior, dear. Okay, friends, we're going to sing one other song. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word 
is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. When I feel afraid, think I've lost my way, still you're there right beside me. Nothing will I fear as long as you are near. Please be with me to the end. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. All right, boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and get out our pancakes. Put some syrup, cut them up and squish them together. Dear Jesus, you alone have the power to make kingdoms rise and fall. Keep us safe and thank you for reminding us of our heavenly kingdom. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. These words are written that we may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. All right, boys and girls, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.